What's up YouTube? This evening I'm going to talk to you a little bit about painting an aluminum boat. Not just painting an aluminum boat, camouflaging an aluminum boat. Um, I needed a duck boat and I just happened to have this aluminum fishing boat so I figured what the heck I'll just paint it. So I set out on my adventure and found out that there are absolutely no videos on how to paint an aluminum boat. So here's a video. Um, Initially in the process, what you need to do is you need to acid etch the hull. You don't always have to acid etch it. You can light sand it or you can use like steel wool or whatever. But bottom line is you got to get something for the paint to stick to on the hull. Um, I actually made my own acid etch out of vinegar and water. And I just used a sponge to rub the vinegar around on the hull. And then I used the water to wash it away. It worked very nicely. The next step that you're going to want to take in the process is use a good self etching primer for the base. I don't know how much I can stress this. Um, I've seen some boats that people have painted without a self etching primer as their base color. And after a couple years it held up like the first year or so, but it just started flaking off. So definitely want to get a good self etching primer. Um, what it does it has acetone in it or, or something like that that actually causes the aluminum surface to be etched up some and then the paint that's in there will bond to it giving you something to lay down a good coat of paint on top of which is really the whole thing that we're aiming for here so uh, next in the process after I did my self etching primer I went ahead and I coated the boat in a tan color. Uh, I just used a camouflage paint that I bought from Walmart. It was super cheap, like $3 or something like that. And I think it only took like a can to coat the bottom of it. But uh, to get my patterns, what I did was I used some sticks as stencils. And I also uh, went inside of our house and pruned up a palm plant that we had. And I used the palm. The palm looks very similar to reeds and cattails and different things you see out in the water so it actually made for a really good camouflage pattern so if you got any palms around your house i mean definitely go ahead and snap one of the limbs off and use it as a stencil um i also added some lights to the boat for navigating early in the morning you know when you're trying to get out there and get on some ducks you don't want to be ramming into any sticks or logs or whatever so uh, those just hooked to the deep cycle battery that I use. And I put some seats on there for comfort. Overall, the paint stuck very well. And I think it was a really good project. Here are some images from her maiden voyage. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I hope you learned a little bit of something about painting an aluminum boat.